Hello everyone, today we will inject some more life into game ready model Hobgoblin by Protofactor and from something like this we will get something like that. From running like this we get running like this. So effect is a bit gentle but it adds some feeling to the animation. As you can see it also adds some motion to the animation when it goes uphill or downhill. Ok, so let's start with it. You can find this model like that. It's also included in this package. Then we will use FBasic assets and ground feeder like in previous tutorial. Tail animator for cloth. Look animator. And also spine animator. So. First let's put our hobgoblin on scene, set camera position by pressing Ctrl F and it's set like in scene window. Then we will make scene look nicer than in previous tutorial by using a reflection probe and by using lighting probes. Now global illumination will work not only on static objects but also on skinet mesh renderers and not static objects. We don't have to do much stuff with this in this simple scene, it just works with that. Let's put it here, without, and with it. Yeah, and it's pretty nice. In this tutorial we will use root motion for movement of the character. Root motion is supported by ground fitter in newest version, it wasn't working before. Let me tweak a little ground fitter. And you can ask what is root motion. It's basically translation defined by animator in modeling software. For example, when animator is making walk animation, sometimes moving forward can't be linear to make this animation make more real. Then in modeling software, he's making animation and moving whole model to fit with the walking animation. And in this situation we will have this. It's pretty handy, cause programmers then have less to program. As you see, we're using here groundfitter movement look. It's very simple class which inherits from groundfitter movement. It's just moving selected game objects to direction we will move. It can't be simpler. But you will see it later when we will setting up look animator. Now let's focus on groundfitter. Let's enable root motion translation. Then variables like base speed and sprinting speed don't have much to do here. Acceleration and deceleration will have some stuff to do, but later. Now let's add input component, so we will control this creature. And then let's set animation controller. Let's set idle as default state. Then we have two clips with running animation. One with root motion, other without. We will use this with root motion, so we change names. And let's change name for walking. Now let's set target for camera controller and check how it works. And as you see, thanks to root motion, animation is fitting movement speed. Notice that movement speed isn't linear, it's changing. Last thing we will do in animator is adding float parameter called animation speed and this parameter is used by ground fitter movement to change animation speed for movement animations. So we have to apply this parameter to animation clips and see the difference. Now acceleration variables will have effect here. So when we stopping, animation is slowing down. Sometimes animation can benefit a lot with this approach. Let's copy settings in play mode, then paste it in edit mode. And finally let's start using Fimpossible animators. We will use tail animator for cloth. Let's find bones. And there. Let's check how they works. Yeah, cool. Now let's add tail animator blending to the first bone, connect with animator, then let's disable waving, and let's see how it looks. Let's move. Yeah, it's following nicely. So that's how it looks without tail animator. And with. Ok, now let's add some waving to simulate wind, but let's change the variables a little. Let's change frequency and range. 
Okay, I think that's enough. Let's do the same for cloth at front. Check how it looks. Yeah, pretty nice. And now let's add spine animator. In newest version of spine animator I added few variables which can help to make component work with humanoid spine. But have in mind that spine animator isn't made for humanoid characters, so some stuff can work wrong, but as far as I tested, it can give some nice results. Of course depends what you want to achieve. There I will set up it to work with spine, you can try it by yourself, but the most important variable is distances multiplayer, this variable was added in last test update. Instead of straightening we will use go back speed, so spine will be going back to source animation pose constantly. Now you see what it's doing. You can tweak this animation elasticity by using blend with original animation or by other variables. You probably noticed that animation is lacking something. That's because we freezing position of pelvis bone. So we can uncheck this. And it's fixed. Freezing position is necessary when Bone isn't using position tracks in animation, which happen a lot, but you have control over it in this component. So then you can customize this motion using other variables. Now let's add final component which will be Look Animator. And there we will make use of Ground Fitter movement Look. So when we go right, Look Target position will be in desired direction. I will add here tail animator to this object just for gizmo, tail animator will be disabled and do nothing. Thanks to that you will see what's going on with this object. Let's enable gizmos and this object is here. But now let's set up look animator. Find head bone, it's correct. Let's hide this so we have clear view. Assign object to follow. Some tweaks. Adjust spine bones, not pelvis. Adjust a little. Add compensation bones just to make the animation better. So finding get more bones that we expect. And we have to adjust this. We only need 4 bones. We lacking right arm, so let's replace the wrong ones with the correct ones. And there we go. Let's disable spine animator for now so we only see look animator work. And now you can see where our character want to look. This gizmo for tail animator is showing what's going on with this game object. It's just popping out here and here. By default look animator is using algorithm which making looking at universal no matter from what software was exported skeleton. But sometimes it can change a little animation, like you see here. The hobgoblin is moving head to sides, which is not in animation. Then we can use other fixing preset. This one is for characters from 3ds Max. And it's doing job here. We just have to do a few tweaks. And it should work right. Now when he moves the animation of head is not changed like before. Take a closer look and see that hand is offset a little, that's because compensation, but we can fix it by compensating positions, instead of just rotations. And it works. Let me adjust it a little bit more. Ok, notice that when we move down the hill, Look animator can make character look always forward, not down to the hill. Ok, let's copy the settings, paste in edit mode so we have everything remembered, hit play and also enable spine animator. Let's see how it works. Yeah, I like it. It just have more meat and weight. As I mentioned before, it's not made for humanoid characters and probably you will have to blend out the component when you jump. Sometimes you can get some weird rotation going on there, but component will be updated, so stuff like that will be fixed soon. And yeah, I think it's done. Leave a comment, like, tell me what you think about it. And thank you for watching, see you next time!